Armin. Wait one sec. Okay, start over. So this is Armin, our new brother. Um, I just wanted to introduce him. Can you tell us like who you are? Left hand shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So just tell him uh, who you are, like your school and like all that jazz. Yeah. So my name's Armand. Um, I've I've always gone to school, and in my entire life, I've always believed in God since I was, like, a young age. Like, my parents grew me up to believe in God, to believe in a higher spirit. I've always believed in that until I was around 17, where my, my dad got diagnosed with prostate cancer. And ever since then, everything went downhill for my entire life. And I've always been, I've been mad, I've been pissed off about everything because my dad almost died. We lost our house. Everything just went downhill. And that was for two, two to three years where I was just pissed off. Like, I was like, why is this happening to me who I always love God, I always praise God, like I went to private schools and I was the person that got in fights with other people who did not believe in God, I'd be like, God's there, He loves all of us, and I would get in fights with other people who did not believe in that what I believed in, until I was 17 and all that stuff happened, until now where I randomly get approached by people who come to me and they're like, God loves you. God's doing all the stuff for you, and I start crying, and I literally just, like, today it tore me apart, because I've, I've been waiting for that for three years, and I get it today, and I start crying, I did not want to come to Santa Barbara today, I was going to stay home, my friends made me come, I come, I lose my friends, I run into people who tell me the stuff, it's such a coincidence, but it's just, too much of a coincidence to not be true. So I start crying. I've been crying for so fucking long. It's just too much for me to handle. Because I've been waiting for this for three years. And I get it three years after where I've been begging for it. So it's like I've been put through that test. And I failed that test. But God does not care about that. He's just... He's just there for me, and he came back to me just because, like I was, like I did that stuff and I failed it. But he does not care, but that I failed it. He's cared that I've been through it, and that's what really matters in all of this. And that's pretty much all I can and tell say. And tell him what you want to do now. Yeah, like I, my entire life, I've always wanted to help people. Like even if, like before this, I like my personality was just like, like everything's just a coincidence. God's not there. Like I want to help. I still want to help people because I grew up like that. So I want to help everyone. But now that I know that I've got that answer by waiting for th for three years, I want to help everyone and I want to spread the love because I myself, I'm the type of personality that wants to help people and not let them go through what I went through, but now that I know that I went through that just to learn from this experience, I now I want to help more people and just spread what I went through and not let them go through that. So I hope that stops other people from going through the crap I went through and maybe to spread more love and stuff like that. Yeah, 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 I hope that's good, yeah.